Hello and welcome to this session of Revit for Architects and Designers brought to you by BIM Technologies. So in this session we are going to learn about how to create different wall types in Revit and also we will learn about the various type properties that are available to modify in the walls in Revit. You will also learn how to create type parameters and also learn how to extract the wall types to the wall schedules. Now let's begin. So here we are using Revit 2023 version and we have the default metric template that we are using to, to explain this concept. Now the wall types that we create in Revit is the first preparation that we do in order to start a project. That means you need to create the wall types prior to, to the project. The best practice of creating the wall types would be to create the wall types, different types in the template, in the project template that you are going to use. Here we are using the project template default metric that we have already uh, mentioned in this. Now, to create the wall type, we need to go to the project browser here. Right now I am in a floor plan, level 1, default view here and you can see there are two wall types that has already been created in this particular project. So here we have the wall types that is basically mentioned under the walls heading in the project browser. This is under the families, click on the families, go to the walls and you can see that there are three basic families, the three families over there, one is the basic wall family curtain wall family and stacked wall family. So we are going to have individual videos on curtain walls, stacked walls and now we are basically understanding how to create the wall types for the basic wall system family. So under the basic wall system family there are certain de default wall types. So you can see CW1025010P which is one of the wall type which is there in that metric template. So if you want to see what are the what is the structure of this wall type or if you want to see the wall type properties, you can click on this particular wall type, click right and then you have the type properties over here, the type properties dialog box will open. Now here in this type properties dialog box you can see the family is basic wall and the type is CW1025000P. So if you want to see the layers or the structures of the wall type, choose the edit button over here and the edit assembly dialog box is there. So here you, in this edit assembly dialog box, you can see that there is an exterior side of the wall and there is an interior side of the wall. So when you create the wall in Revit, you have two sides of the wall that you can develop. One is the exterior side towards the exterior side and another is the interior side towards the interior side of the project. In this wall type, you can see that under the code boundary, which is the main boundary, there is one layer, which is a structure in function. So you can basically assign different functions to the layer. For this particular layer, the function is structure. And here we have this material, which is the concrete masonry unit, which is 100 meter millimeters in thickness. So if you want to change the materials, you can choose the button over here and you can change it to a material of your choice and then at the, above the core boundary towards the exterior side you have a membrane layer which is a vapor retarder a membrane layer is generally a zero mm thickness so if you want to give any thickness to it you can give it but at this moment it is a zero millimeters thickness you have so if you give a thickness over here and you say okay so there will be a warning message which will give that the membrane layer function requires zero thickness so it would not take this value over here so if you have to keep it you have to keep it zero anyway so it is a vapor retarder by material and then you have a cavity fill of 15 millimeters 
which is a thermal layer or air layer by function and then you have a finish layer which is a brick common of 102 mm and then at the interior side there is a gypsum board wall board material which is 12 mm thickness now you can see that at the exterior side there is a cavity wall which is basically 102 mm thickness by brick and then you have a structure of 50 mm thickness a cavity wall cavity is of 50 mm thickness and the structure of the concrete masonry unit is 100 mm thickness and you have a gypsum board which is a P. So this basically constitute this basic wall layer. So if you want to create your own type, so what you need to do is you can select the generic option. So generic is basically a very primitive kind of wall type. You can choose the duplicate option and you can say okay i need a brick wall let's say you can rename it and you can name it as a brick wall initially then we will rename it later on so this is a brick wall you have the brick wall at the top you can right click it over here and then go to the type properties and you can give the function of this wall as exterior interior foundation retaining soffit or core shaft for this purpose, we are going to create a wall type for the exterior wall. So I rename it as exterior. And the thickness of the brick wall, I wanted to give it as, let's say, 230 millimeters. So you have this 230 millimeters brick wall. So you can directly go to the edit option under the structure. You can give it as a brick wall material. And then you can basically select the brick wall from the masonry type here so you can say a brick material you have so if you write brick over here i think the search will be refined more better so you have a brick common ground you can choose it and you can basically have this brick common ground applied to the material here. so you have a 230 mm and then if you want to give a gypsum board at the let's say you wanted to have a metal stud layer let's say so you can basically put it down down and towards the interior side you wanted to have a substrate and you wanted to have this as a metal layer so you can type metal over here and under the metal over here you have the metal stud layer choose okay and let's say if you wanted to give it at a thickness of 20 mm let's say and then if you wanted to give another layer which is basically a gypsum pole so you can always have a finish and then you can give let's say the uh, gypsum board is let's say 20 mm thickness and you can choose the material as gypsum board so this is how you can basically create a wall type using the type properties dialog box and then the edit assembly dialog box and you can see the how the preview is there you can see the preview both in the section as well as in the floor plan so you can give color of the course fill pattern as let's say you want to have a different color you want to give a different pattern to it and then you want to give a wall type mark let's say w1 or wa1 and say apply and then here we are so now this wall exterior brick wall you can put it on the canvas click right over here and then you can say create instance and here we go so there is a wall which is created of the type that has been mentioned in the type properties now you can see here you have got the different layers in the course you can see the color which is assigned to it the different color which is assigned to it and then it basically behaves in the wall project now in the 3d view if you wanted to see this so i say you can also use the architecture tab see the wall architecture and then you can have this wall type here create the wall and then let's say if you wanted to create more wall types now here when you select the wall you need to basically put this into the exterior this, is, this shows the exterior face of the wall so it's better that you basically push this double arrow towards the exterior face of the wall so here we are and then we are done sure go to the view tab and see the 3d view of it 
and if we wanted to change this wall type to a different wall type so how do we change how do we match the property so let's go to the level one let's say i wanted to have another wall type right click create similar and then let's say you wanted to change this wall type to an interior wall type so you can select this and select it as an interior 135 mm partitions now if you want to match the property let's say if you have a wall type of a different type over here and you want to match it with this so you have in the modify there is an option called match type properties select it here we are so we are done with the wall types in the next video we are going to see about how we can create or modify the existing type properties of the wall thank you hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel to see more videos in revit and please comment in the comment box about how we can improve the videos and what are the things that you want to basically learn from us regarding the revit thank you once again